This is Barry Gonzalez with South Florida Operation, and we're going to be presenting to you uh, a development that we completed about a couple of years ago. It was a very interesting development called Brickett City Center. It takes three city blocks in the um, in the heart of downtown Miami. If you can picture it, I mean, what a what a very dynamic environment this is with. Um, the famous Calle Ocean's right cutting in front of the development. It was a very interesting undertaking to develop this um, 3 million square feet of development. It um, consists of a big podium for retail. Uh, right under the podium, they created two levels of basement parking, which is very challenging here in, in, in Miami because of the uh, water table. So that was a very challenging uh, construction. So on top of the uh, basement parking, we have the four levels of retail, which is pretty much what you see right now. And then over that podium, we have the vertical structures and we have five ver vertical structures, two condo towers, 44 stories each, you have a hotel component, which is uh, 42 stories um, high, and you also have two mid-sized office buildings. So very interesting composition of vertical structures on what we call three city blocks. Total construction cost was um, almost $1 million. In dollars, this was this was one of the projects that actually brought Miami out of the recession back in 2012. The um, general contractor that behind this development was America Caribe, which is kind of a subsidiary of Bui, which is a French company. We designed this uh, project with Architectonica as the architect um, of record. They designed every element of this development. The engineering, however, was split between two teams, Cosentini out of New York. They designed the podium and three of the vertical elements, the two mid-rise office buildings and the uh, hotel tower. TLC built the two condo towers with the corresponding parking levels and, and podium levels for that. This, you know, just so just to give you a frame of reference, um, the, the residential towers, each one has almost 500 uh, units each. The hotel has almost 300 rooms for the hotel, and there's like 300,000 square feet of office space. As I mentioned, two full levels of basement parking garage, plus another three levels of um, parking above ground. It was a very interesting, you know, coordination of effort to be, you know, be able to deliver this product on time. This project was uh, one of the first, if not the first, if I remember, to obtain LEED Neighborhood Development Silver Certification. You know, when you look at this type of project, the intent of this project is what they mentioned from the beginning. This is where they wanted people to live, they wanted people to play, and they wanted people to work. So it's pretty much a city on itself, you know, for people to pretty much have their life around this, this development in downtown Miami. We pursue in this project lead server certification for each individual um, building. And one of the things that is very unique about this uh, development is what we call Climate Ribbon. It's an element that kind of links the um, different towers together. This is an element that actually was brought up by Architectonic, the developers, in, in, in an effort to make this outdoor shopping experience viable. I mean, you know, Miami is a very uh, relentless climate. I mean, if you picture trying to shopping in the middle of the summer, it's not going to be a pleasant experience. So this climate driven ex um, ex structure was um, intended to kind of uh, guide the winds into the um, the podium area so that it will be a pleasant experience for the uh, for the shoppers. Not only it brings winds, but it also brings shade. So that, that kind of creates uh, the whole experience for the outdoors um, retail basis. One other element that we found interesting, I mean, that you're gonna see in this video is also model. So to kind of give you the, the relationship between the different components. But for the most part, in terms of lead and sustainability, as, as we TLC designed the condo towers, we incorporated a couple of elements. One was a condenser water system that was a variable pumping system to kind of um, provide, you know, the highest diversity that we could take on the operation of the uh, cooling plant so that, you know, when the units were off, then, you know, the pumps would be modulating in terms of flow so that we don't have a continuous flow going through the, um, through the condenser water system. Obviously, the, the whole lighting design was based on LEDs for very low power densities. You know, in its, you know, back in the days, I mean, this was finished in 2016, 17, was a very low uh, level of lighting power density. 
water collection was also a big issue here with the climate ribbon and the roof areas being you know the main collection uh, surfaces we um, convey the water to three main reservoirs that um, and we use the water for all the landscape irrigation and for all the um, uh, different cooling plants that we have remember the, uh, the condo buildings have condenser water with cooling towers but also the hotel and the uh, mid-size office buildings use shoe water system, which you know, also have cooling towers and they make it. Pretty much it was um, an all, you know, huge effort by all the different players trying to achieve our goals, which was, you know, develop this massive uh, undertaking three city blocks in part of downtown Miami and make it a signature project, I mean, for generations to come and for the residents to enjoy. I can tell you that, you know, every time I have people in town, family, friends, I bring it to this development to um, enjoy.